What's up guys? In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to safely charge LiPo batteries. So when it comes to charging LiPo batteries, there's a couple things you gotta keep in mind. These are very dangerous, and if charged incorrectly, these can cause a fire. So when you're charging LiPo batteries, do not leave these unattended. So with that out of the way, let's get right into it. There's two different ways that you can charge LiPo batteries. You can charge them individually with a cable like this, and you can also charge multiple at a time with a parallel charging board like this. So I'm gonna go over both ways. Let's focus on one at a time first. So let's grab one of these batteries that I have lying here. Here we have a 1050 milliamp hour, 120C, 6S, lipo battery from tattoo so this is my go-to 6s battery and there's a couple numbers on here that we have to remember when we're going to charge the first one is the fact that it's a six cell so this is a 6s battery now no matter if this was a 6s a 4s a 2s whatever cell battery this is every single cell needs to be charged to 4.2 volts so since this is a six cell in the end, we want the total voltage of this battery to be 25.2 volts. I'll put up on the screen right in here what the voltages would be for 1S, 2S, 3S, 4S, 5S, and 6S. The next number that we have to take note of is the milliamp hour. And on this battery, it's 1050. This is going to be what tells us how fast we can charge the battery at. So this is my charger. This is a C240 Duo. I'll leave a link to this in the description. This charger can charge two batteries at once. We have channel one over here and channel two over here. So I'll turn the charger on and we can connect in our banana club. We can plug in the plug that goes to the cable that you need. For this one, it's XT60. So I'll plug black to black red to red. Now we have our balance board. This is going to be the board that balances all the cells in the battery. Now we'll plug in our battery. So on my batteries, I keep a plug on the end of the XT60 connector or XT30, whatever it is. You can 3D print these. I'll leave a link to these in the description. So plug it in. So I feel like this is a very standard looking screen for most chargers that people will get. When you turn it on, you're gonna be presented with this screen. Here is where you can select what kind of battery you wanna charge. So since we're charging a LiPo, we're gonna select lithium battery. Now we can go through the settings to select what kind of battery we're charging. Here you can select which battery you want to charge. We're charging a LiPo, like I said. Now this number is how fast the battery is going to charge. So since we have a 1050, I'm going to change this to 1 amp or 1.1. So for a battery like this, I would charge this battery at 0.6 amps. For this battery, I can charge this one at 1.5. But since we're charging a 1050 milliamp hour, I'm gonna change this back to either one amp or 1.1. So I'm gonna do 1.1. Now if we hit this again, it'll give us the option to actually change what we're doing to the battery. So the only two menu options that I use is balance charge and storage mode. So storage mode is when I'm not using the battery for a while and I'm going to keep it on the shelf, not use it right away. For this, we're going to be balanced charging it. Always select balance charge. And then down here, you can also select what kind of battery you have plugged into it. So if you have a 4S plugged in and it's showing up 6S, you'll be able to change that down to 4S. And this is pretty much all set ready to go. You hold the button check the battery voltage it can recognize that there is a 4s battery plugged in and if it does that it'll give you an error like this look for 6s looks good and now the battery is charging 
Now that's all well and good, assuming you only want to charge one battery. Let's say you want to charge a whole bunch of batteries. That's where a parallel charger comes in. With a parallel charger, you can charge up to four or six, however many connectors you have on there, similar batteries at the same time. Now basically, your charger is recognizing those four batteries as one battery since they're all plugged in to one balance lead and one power lead. So a balance board plugs in the same exact way the other board does. Black, red, and then typically it'll have an input on the board. This board has XT30 or XT60. I use XT60 and then it has the balance plug that plugs right in. So what this board is gonna let us do is charge multiple batteries at once. So you can take three or four of the same battery and charge it at the same time, assuming that each battery is around the same voltage. If the voltage is within 0.4 volts, you can charge them at the same time. So unfortunately, I can't take these three batteries and then throw on one of these and charge it all on a parallel board. However, what you can do on a charger like this is actually dedicate this parallel board to these three specific batteries and then take another battery, a 4S, and plug it into this port and charge this one while you have these 6S batteries charged. So what I like to do is take note of each battery's voltage count. And to do that, I use this battery voltage tester. This plug plugs into the balance connector on a LiPo. Now this one is reading 22.8. This one is 22.2. This one is 22.8 as well. I also have these ones laying around that are the exact same battery, so let's charge these as well. This one's 21. And this one is 22.3. So the way that I would charge these batteries is I could charge these two together, these two together, and this one by itself. Since these two batteries are only 0.1 volts different, I can charge these two together safely. These two are both exactly 22.8, so these I can charge together. This one, since it's only 21 volts, 21 is one full volt away from what these two are at, so I'm going to charge this battery by itself. So I'm gonna charge the 22.3 and 22.2 batteries first. And then over here I have the 21. So all I'm gonna do is plug this one in, let it start charging. So since I have this one plugged into channel two, I'll set the settings on channel two. Now since I'm charging these two batteries together, I'm gonna to plug both of these in. When you're using a parallel board like this, it doesn't matter which one you plug the balance lead in or the power cable. I can plug this in here and the power cable up here. It doesn't make a difference. In the end, the charger is just seeing this as one battery. So now that we have both of these batteries plugged in, the charger is gonna recognize this. Basically, instead of two 6S batteries being charged, it's going to recognize it as one six cell battery being charged for 2100 milliamp hours. So that means when we're charging it, we can go under here and instead of selecting 1.1 amps, we'll change that to 2.2 or 2.1. Make sure that this says 6S. Make sure that your balance leads are all connected right and then you're good to charge. So, <coughs> so that is how you safely charge LiPo batteries. Again, if you're charging batteries, 
don't leave these unattended because they can start a fire. They are dangerous. I've had friends that have accidentally stabbed these and it's lit their backpack on fire. So don't leave these unattended if you're charging them. Things can go wrong and the last thing you wanna do is burn your house down from one of these. So if this video helped you out, make sure you subscribe to the channel. If you got something to say or you just think I suck at charging batteries, leave it in the comments section because I always love to hear from you. And like the video, make sure you subscribe, and thanks for watching.